the show. I'm Leo Stackles. I'm Rod James. I'm Jeff Chisholm. And I'll tell you what, we are again with our good friend Scott Holm from Kawartha Lake Guiding Service. And what a better place to start off the day here but Fenland Falls for our Cameron excursion. This place is really, really cool, isn't it? It really, like the town is so quaint. They got a lot of cool things happening. They've got a beach, they've, got, they've actually got a museum. Absolutely. There's the Fenland Falls Brewing Company here. Nice 1900s building along the locks in the oh, background. Perfect. You know what, they, they started here a couple years ago? Yeah, just a couple years ago, but uh, 16 beers on the menu. I can't like believe you place. actually haven't um, <laughs> stopped in here before. Get in a little gem, we're going to have to explore it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, guys, we cannot wait to get on the water. It's going to be a fantastic day. Stick around, guys. You're not going to want to miss the action. Oh, my. Get him. Send him up. He's on. Oh, yeah. Another 20. Nice. <laughs> Ontario Toyota Dealers presents Fish TV. It's time to Toyota with your hosts, Leo Stakos, Ron James, and Jeff Chisholm. Brought to you by Ontario Power Generation, powering Ontario's future. Rapala, crafted from experience. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Canada. Your venture starts here. Fram, designed by experts, trusted by drivers. <laughs> Lots of fun anyway. They throw that thing back. Look, it just ate it, boys. Look at this. That guy should be near shore by now. What do I got? Oh, you got one as well? Yeah. All right, back in the water. It's almost time for these boys to be in season. How about three days? It's a smallmouth, no? Yeah, smallmouth. Yeah, that's yeah. the smallmouth. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the one good thing about fishing an edge. You don't know what you're going to get, yeah. whether it's going to be a pike. A muskie, tiger muskie, a walleye. What I don't understand is why, why are these in 11 feet of water when they should be almost ready to spawn? Well, I think they've I think they've actually done spawning. Right? So, some of them could be, yeah. Is it an eye? Beautiful. Look at Scotty too hotty go. Nice eye. You want a net? No, no. Well, you know there's a slot here, right? You know what? It's actually. Uh, we got to figure out what that is. 30 to 50 centimeters. Well, we, we have a ruler here, Doug? I do. I do. Do you want it? You know what? It doesn't matter. We're going to release it anyways, but yeah. Little Cameron Lake walleye. That looked like it would be in the slot. And you're allowed four of them. Just popped right out. Look at that. That's gold in color. We're just ripping that bucktail right through the weed. I saw the line twitch a little bit. I set the hook on it. Right on the top lip. Love coming here in the Kawartha Lakes, fishing Cameron Lake. You don't know what you're going to get here. And they got beautiful tiger muskies. We're really hoping we're going to click into one of those. And after that, we're going to hit the town, go into Fenland Falls, grab some meat. That sounds like a great day. Right oh, there. there we go. Oh, wrong time. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, for the wrong species, but the tank fish. <laughs> Back in she goes. Oh, look at the size of that thing. All right. All right. Beautiful. Get him back in. Man. Hey, just think, Jeffrey, three more days? Three more days <laughs> <You're> <laughs> in the <laughs> open season. I know where I'm coming. <laughs> it's really windy here. I mean, there's probably 30 kilometer an hour winds, and we're still able to fish along this weed edge. Great, great place to come to get out of the wind and then catch some fish. Here we go. There we go. I don't know if this is a walleye, though, boys. Really? Yeah, this is another walleye. Yeah, under the chin. That one, that one came over to take a look at it. That's what happens a lot of times. This is how we know that there's a bunch of them here, guys, because A, they're all about the same size. Oh, <laughs> you they go back in the water. All right, let's try that again, guys. Slippery little fish. But that's how we know we're, we're on a little pod here, because when you catch walleye, normally they're all around the same size. So they've all been a little bit bigger than this one, but. Here, we know there's a bunch, look, look, Ronnie's got one on there as well. There's a bunch of them around here, and they're coming over and taking a look at the bait. I'm going to get this guy back in and see if I can get another one. Well, this is a good one. Is that a walleye? Oh, yeah. 
You want a nut? Yeah. <laughs> it's a chunk. You want a nut for that one? Yeah, it's okay. All right. I got them on there. Look at how fat this one is. Again, got them underneath, right? Yeah. Well, they're coming over to take a look at them, right? Look at this. Look at how fat this one is, boys. There we go. Look at how fat and healthy that fish is. Now, that's an over. Wait, isn't that kind of an oxymoron, fat and healthy? Well, that's <laughs> used to be like me. Not healthy and fat. Total opposite. The slot limit here is 30 centimeters to 50 centimeters. You're allowed four, but we're not keeping any today. But that's that that would almost be that would be an over right there. And let that one go before I tell you what we're doing. So with the bucktail, the good thing about this is you can rip it through the weeds. You can work a grub slowly through the weeds, but when you're ripping bucktails, what they do, the fish will come over and stop and look at it, and then the next time you come up, that's why you get them here and there, because they're they're chasing it. But they don't they can't find it because it dropped to the bottom. And then the next time you rip up, that's why you get them here and here and here. And then 95% of the time, when they come over and they bite it on the fall. So when it's coming, then you'll see your line just go tink. And that when they inhale it in. Wait, but, what would the line do? Yeah. Tink. That too. I want to see it again. <laughs> you always check the knot because you're always ripping it, right? So that was fun. I caught a fish, boys. I'm gonna get a big pike or a muskie today. I know I am. Oh, what was that, bud? <laughs> ah! There we go, now ah. with the tick, buddy. Oh, man. A nice little Cameron Lake walleye. These are a lot of fun. There we go. Oh! <laughs> there we go. There you go, Jeffrey. That That's rip. a walleye. Yeah, nice walleye, too. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Right on that oh, rip, boy. eh? As soon as you ripped up, he was there. Which means he probably had it in his mouth as soon as he set the hook. Well, you know, I've been switching out colors because Leo's putting on a clinic here with this bucktail and BMC Moon 9 jigs with different colors of plastics, minnow yeah, tails, like paddle thing. tails, but the pink and the white. Let's see if that keeps on going, but work for this guy. Yeah, that was a nice rip, that one. We haven't even banged into a pike or muskie, and this is pike and muskie heaven here in this water. There we go, now yeah. with the tick, buddy. I've seen that. That nice. was a tick and a half, man. That's a good fish right there. Woo. That could be a pike. I think we it's a pike. fish in this exact spot on our first trip. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, look at this pike here. Yeah, oh, nice pike. Wow. You a hand, bud? So on this spot, we've caught smallmouth, largemouth, walleye, and now a pike. You a hand, bud? <laughs> right in the corner of the mouth, too. I, I was just trying to get on the show, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Did, you see how, did you see him tick that line? That's a good size pike for camera. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Come on, fella. Oh, yeah. oh, there we go. He snapped it off. Did he? Right at the leader. I told you I would have given you a hand, but. You know why I let it go? The line went around my finger. Ow. And that, you see the, that Great. line right there, you really got to pay attention and watch because when that thing comes, starts to take off, that line will just snap right off. You got to be really, really careful. Or snap your finger off. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's now time for the Ontario Toyota Dealers Tackle Box. Hey guys, let's take a minute of the action and show you exactly what we're using here today. We're catching fish on 13 fishing rods. I myself am using a Fate Black 7 foot 6 medium heavy action bait casting rod. And I've got the Concept Z2 bait casting reel. I'm really excited to show you about this reel. It's got the magnets on the side so you can dial in exactly how many magnets you want, which is awesome. However, it's got a really cool new feature. This orange slide button right here. You can dial in additional magnets right on the fly just using your thumbs. How many times are you fishing in the wind, maybe casting downwind with a spinner bait or something like that, and then you want to turn around and make a cast into the wind and you end up with a backlash? Well, this allows you to just dial in some additional magnets, make that cast into the wind, turn around, dial the magnets right back again, and make a cast downwind, and that's going to keep you fishing longer without those backlashes. That is a great feature of this reel. We caught a lot of fish on bucktails today. I should say Leo caught a lot of fish on bucktails today. And this is a great example of one. This is a VMC Moon Eye Jig. Now, if you want to catch a lot of walleye and a lot of fish, period, get out there, use these tools, and you'll catch more fish just like we did today. Now, let's get back to that Fish TV action. Hear him catch that. Or you, you didn't hear. Oh. <laughs> I was actually having nice. a conversation with Jeff. Yeah, I see. 
you can get that right drift where you can control your line. The key is to have that slack line. There we go. A nice little Cameron Lake walleye. These are a lot of fun. We'll let that one go. The key is to have that slack line. You don't need to cast out very far, maybe 20 feet. Watch your line constantly. See that slack, the way it goes like that? Rip it up and let it go on a slack line again. Rip it up, let it go on a slack line again. Nine times out of 10, I'd be able to get that bite. Oh, there we go. That's a nice walleye, bud. Beautiful. Right on the top of the lip, look at that. Did he take it or did he just yeah. lift up on him? Nice little Cameron Lake walleye right there, baby. Yeah. Gosh, I love it when they tick the line. That thing there, I ripped it up. My line was slack and just went dunk. That was it. Look at that. Say hello. Say hello. You got a ruler in the boat? So it's like 13 and I think it's 13 and a bit inches. Well, let's just measure it anyway. Uh, you don't. So 13. Pass it over to you. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, here we go. Let me, I got him. <laughs> well, that's pretty short. So that right there. That, 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 that would be that, a keeper. It, that is a keeper. Yep. So 40 centimeters, you can see here, 40 centimeters. So you can keep them from this to just under 20 inches. Well, basically 40 centimeters is 16 inches. Yeah, but it, well, it's just a little shy, right? We'll let this fish go. It, it is a keeper. But. Yeah. So on Cameron Lake, you can keep four fish between 30 centimeters and 50 centimeters. Yeah, and then you can keep one over. But that's the good thing about the Lund ruler. It's got centimeters and inches, and a lot of these rulers don't. And those are perfect eating size, right? Not too big, just just nice. Oh, so we're gonna get one right here. Oh, look, oh right down it. Yeah, look at this. Oh, that's a good one. Portions of Fish TV were brought to you by Mercury. Go boldly. Mama. Is. Looks like it. Oh, I just missed one too. Oh yeah. Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> nice smallie. Now well, that, wrong species, but fun to watch. There's big bass on Cameron. That was proof right there. And that fish was just there. As it was falling, my line just twitched just a tiny bit. He already had it in his mouth. It's now time for the Garmin Force Tip of the Week. So if you're having problems casting a bait caster, which a lot of people have, I mean, you get those backlashes. On this Concept 13 fishing reel, there's a little switch on the back side, on the left side or the right side, depending on what hand you are. And if you just flick this down, the reel actually pops out and slides across the face of it, which is absolutely awesome because now you can get at the magnets. All you gotta do is just turn that dial whatever way you want. If you want it tighter, you want it looser, if you wanna play the wind, and then this way, the magnets will actually work together on the reel. If you set it up properly, you don't even have to put your thumb on it. So when you're looking at buying a reel, make sure you look at the concept because these things set up real easy and you're not gonna have that backlash problem once you get it set up. There's also another dial here that you can turn up and down. I, I just go by the magnets and it's absolutely perfect. There we go. Got one reel? Let's see what this is here. Another walleye. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Right in the top of the blip. That looks like another. Uh, there you go. Another, another keeper. keeper. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Right on the last rip. So I'm going to give you guys another little tip when you're when you're ripping a bucktail. People think you get close to the boat reeling in quickly. My last three fish all came right below the boat. These fish, you got to remember, this is a vertical presentation. The bait is going up and going straight down. So don't be afraid to rip right up to the boat because the last three fish, all keepers by the way, here on Cameron, have all come to the front of the boat. So give that a try, and I think you're gonna catch some fish as well. There you go. Oh. Get right back in. See you in a couple days, buddy. Oh, oh, there we go. Let's see what I got this time. Oh, oh a little perch. A little perchy. So this is what these walleye are, are eating right now. That is just a perfect indication that we're in the right area. Because these walleye are coming up and chowing down on this. Pike and Muskie are coming down, chowing down on the walleye, and we're following the food chain. Oh, we got it. There we go. Oh, nice. Pike. Got everything here. Everything. Yeah. Lots of them. Two cranks, eh? Two cranks. 
Not a big one, but hey, hit it hard. I'm waiting for the, it's mom. It's about that long. But hey, I love the way they hit that thing. Yes, wham. They got some big, big tiger muskie here too. My buddy Scotty got one last year and it was a giant. Keep chucking the wind and see what happens. I told you, I said we're gonna get one right here. <laughs> he did, you called it. I knew it, as soon as I could see that weed. That's yeah. a key, you gotta see those tops of those weeds just off that edge. Yeah. You know, when you're ripping bucktails, you're gonna get a lot of snag fish and if you don't catch them in the mouth, you gotta let them go, so. But you, that's common when you're ripping bucktails because the fish come over and they look at it and they stop. And then the, you know, they, they park right over, they, they can't really see it. So the next time you rip up, you might get them here, you might get them there, but if you don't get them in the mouth, let them go. Oh. <laughs> there we go, there we go. I don't know what this is though, it, it, it hit Whoa. it twice. Oh, it's a nice eye. Exactly. Well, that on them or you got Nice eye. Right on that edge. Oh, look, oh, right down at yap. Look at this one. Yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> oh, now that was a hungry walleye. So we're gonna try to get this out like this, out the side, it pops right out, and then check your line. That is a beautiful, healthy walleye right there. It hit it twice. I, I missed it the first time. It came back, bang. Beautiful. Oh. Somebody wanted to get in there pretty quickly. We were in about 15, 16 feet of water, which explains why so many boats are around here fishing muskie and pike. But as soon as that took us onto that edge, my second rip, bang, there was a fish on it. So that's what you want to look for, guys. Close to deep water, try to find as close to the edge as possible. Get that bait in the strike zone for as long as possible, you'll catch more fish. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Beauty right there. Is, is it a pike or a muskie? Yeah, it's a pike. Good pike, too. Yeah. That is good pike. Oh, nice, bud. That's what I was waiting for. No <laughs> time. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me get the net for you, bud. Hold on. That's okay. Those pike will always go for those terminators. Well, you know what? The weeds were thick enough here. There should have been one here. This is what I was throwing the spinnerbait for right here. <sighs> nice little Cameron Lake pike. Boy, he pushed that bait forward about at least six inches. I just felt slack and oh, boom. He looked like he wanted it. Beautiful. Another Cameron Lake beauty, buddy. Yeah, man. Very Mike, nice. Musky, smallmouth, largemouth, walleye. How much more do you want? And there he goes. Sweet, sweet. Throwing that spinnerbait for a reason, that Terminator. I know there's giant musky and big pike in here, so especially with these little walleyes around, you know, you, know, you just got to know that there's got to be some big fish around here. There we go. That's a good fish there, buddy. Oh, what is this? What is this, fella? Oh, it's a big eye. Net worthy? No, oh, I can get I'm in here like with this. it if you want it. Beautiful. No, I got you it right here, it? buddy. <laughs> this is perfect. Oh, yeah. Right through the weeds. That's why it felt so heavy. <laughs> Look at that. That is there just a go. beauty right there. Very nice. Just sitting in that thick stuff. Now you can see this is what we're fishing here, guys. But this, this, this cabbage blend here that's the bottom. And they're just sitting right in the middle of the stuff. And my jig went by, he jumped on it. And that is a nice, healthy eating fish right there. But we're not gonna eat him, we're gonna throw it back. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go, buddy. Nice, I thought, how yeah. that thing. He hammered that. That's rock. a decent fish, whatever it is. Oh, nice, nice fish. Yeah, oh, nice he fish. bit me off. He bit me off. Oh, man, was that a nice fish. Uh, that was a nice fish. Well, you're gonna lose the odd jig out here on a big fish. But that's part of the that was a good one. Shoot, man. <laughs> a big that was a musky, yeah. It's a nice musky. What the hell? Oh, what do I got here, buddy? Yeah, it's a nice pike. Yeah, it is too. Oh, is it a musky? No, it's a pike. Is it a pike? With oh. that weed hanging off the back of it, I Dude, thought that's it was three feet musky. longer than it was. <laughs> I think that is a little musky. Yeah, it is a musky. Oh, yeah, because you saw the weed? Yeah. Now, again, that fish was on the fall. Like, as soon as I, whoa. Right, yeah, in, the, right like, in the corner of the mouth. Oh, nice it color. Oh, no, it's a yeah. little musky. Yeah, it's a little musky. Yeah. For sure it is. Like I mentioned earlier, musky, 
pike, smallmouth, largemouth, walleye. Ah. Cameron Lake has got everything here. And you caught them right in the right spot. Look at that. Yeah. Now oh, they get some big ones in this lake too. Nice. Nice color. Everything here. Yeah, get this guy back in here slowly. Hold it there for a second. You'll import just to let them get their own bearings. You never bring the fish forward and back. And there you go. And go. Good thing is, every time we release this fish, we always get the cameraman wet. There you have it, guys. Cameron Lake at its finest. What a fantastic day we had. Well, hold on a second. Maybe for you. <laughs> I mean, you were on fire today, bro. Oh, you know what? It, it, it's a team effort. These guys, they parted ways. They allowed me to come in there and catch yeah. the fish. Yeah. And you, you know would what? have fought for every one. <laughs> Let's not forget our, our good friend Scotty here from Quartha Lake Guiding Absolutely. Service. is always here to help us out here, especially here in the Quartha Lakes. But you got to check it out here, guys. We got full of information here. We caught a lot of fish. Go to explorecoworthalakes.com for more information. How about fishtv.tv? Fishtv.tv. And don't forget, when you're up here, visit Fenland Falls. Have some fun while you're here. Until next time, I'm Leo Stackos. I'm Ron James. I'm Jeff Chisholm. We'll see you next time on Fish TV. This is Scott. <laughs> Fish TV was brought to you by Lund, the ultimate fishing experience. Mercury, go boldly, and Hill Street Beverages.